The new iPad may be too hot to handle. That's according to the latest from some Apple gadget users. Fox News quotes one unhappy customer who says, while I was playing a bubble popper game, it got very hot, so I removed it from the case. I didn't want to fry the innards. When I set it on my lap, it burned my thighs. I had a red rectangle on my thighs for about 15 minutes. Consumer Reports says it measured the new iPad's temperature with a thermal camera and found the device hits 116 degrees Fahrenheit during action games. That's 12 degrees warmer than similar tests on iPad 2. ZDNet writer Zach Whitaker says the extra heat is to be expected from the upgraded tablet. I would describe the heat emanating from the new iPad as uncomfortably warm. It's not enough by a long shot to fry an egg on, but holding the tablet in portrait mode over its warmer areas borders on one's inner instinct to place your hands elsewhere. A program manager at the U.S. Department of Energy explains the problem to Information Week. The problem is everyone wants these devices to last as long as possible before recharging. Apple may have packed in too much energy, or maybe the average draw is higher than what was designed for. Customers want answers for the overheating issues. All Things D has the response from Apple's PR department. The new iPad delivers a stunning retina display, A5X chip, support for 4G LTE, plus 10 hours of battery life all while operating well within our thermal specifications. If customers have any concerns, they should contact AppleCare. For Newsy, I'm Anna Campaign Romero. Multiple sources, the real story.